Hey guys, in this video I'm going to add batteries to solar unit to provide full house backup system. I'm going to use kit from EG4 with one cabinet and three 5 kilowatt hours batteries. Cabinet ships pre-assembled, we just need to attach wheels for this. We have two wheels with locks and uh, two regular wheels. This is server rack battery style, so we need to attach brackets, which is going using batteries. After installing the first battery, I found that I have about one quarter inch gap in the front of the battery and the back is a heating cabinet, so I cannot secure the battery on the rails. To make it work, I have to remove side walls from a cabinet and move entire rails assembly about half inch towards the front of cabinet. And uh, here's the result after moving rails forward. Now we're good to install the batteries. I have some misalignment on the battery holes and the rails, so I was, I was able to use only two top bolts to secure the bottom battery. Next step, I'm connecting positive side of the battery to a bus bar on the left of the cabinet. And before paralleling battery on the negative side to bus bar, I want to check that all three packs have same voltage. Next step, I'm going to install emergency stop button to shut off inverter in case of emergency. I did spend some time searching for a button and uh, first I've got a cheap one from Amazon for $10. When I receive this, uh, quality of this button feels like it's not gonna survive on the direct sun even for one year. And uh, then I found another one for $400 plus dollars and uh, it feels too much money for a simple push button. Later, I found a button that I'm installing right now on a Home Depot website and uh, this button costs $40, by default it's going with the normally closed contacts and the uh, Solark need normally open contacts. So I found this contacts green one which I'm installing right now on a uh, Walmart, so total price for this button is just $50. And now I'm connecting wires from the button to solar unit using BB contacts. To run wires from cabinet to solar unit, I'm going to use one and a quarter flex conduit. Solar can draw 275 amps from the battery and for wires I'm going to use 1-0 gauge wires from Windy Nation which is rated for 285 amps. If we want to charge or discharge battery with 275 amps, we have to utilize both sets of terminals on a solar unit. To make connection simpler, I'm going to use these bus bars, which is paralleling two negative inputs and two positive inputs. So connecting battery to solar unit is going to be easier.
After all connections are done, we can power batteries. Now we're charging battery with 5 kilowatts and supplying 300 watts to the house. And now I'm going to simulate grid outage. So I'm recording solar unit and uh, inside the house. Let's see what's going to happen when we disconnect the grid. So right now solar switched to solar power. It diverted all energy that was pushing to grid to, uh, to the battery right now. And uh, inside the house we didn't even notice that power was disconnected. All right, that was a quick video about full house backup system. Thank you for watching and see you later.